let's write some code. So there's a few things we want to check before we, you know, do our our, our painting and all that. Uh, we want to check if this thing is closing or not, you know, or is disposing itself. We don't want to be doing this while this thing is, you know, trying to exit. Right? Disposing occurs when you exit the form and it needs to kind of clear out memory for for other programs to use. You know, for, this is basically a window, so uh, manage code. And of course, we, we want to do all of this if it's visible. And I can't spell disposing, no L in there. All right, so there's some of the things. I want to make sure all of these, it's not disposing, it's not disposed yet, and it's, it's still visible. We want to um, draw draw our buffers, draw out our buffers. Paint on our buffer and then draw out our buffer. All right. Um, now here's the deal. I need to access the, the paint Meth, um, the, the paint method so that I can draw onto our back buffer. So I need to draw onto our back buffer. So we've got the tools to draw. This 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 buffer displays our tools to draw on our back buffer. We now need to call the the paint event, the forms paint event, so that we can draw. So what I'll do is I need to what I'll do is I'll create a a place where we can do our drawings. So this is going to be our private sub game draw game draw and our game draw will, will will have some kind of graphics for us to, to use to draw stuff we'll call it G for graphics All right and we need to hook to this we need we need to get to this we need to we need to we need to hook the the, the inbuilt paint meth uh, paint um, to this thing so I don't want I don't want the form to paint I want this to paint. So how do we do that? Right at the top here, we're going to pretty much delete whatever the form has and put our own thing. And to delete whatever the form has, and the form does have something, let me just check what the form has. Override, uh, protected, let me just check, protected, override, let me just check what they have. Override, uh, does it have paint? It's got non-paint. Yeah. Anyway, we want to we want to go private shadow. Shadows is basically to replace, literally replace. We're going to replace this paint. This this is inbuilt into the form. This is already existing in the form. You don't know that, but well, I'm just telling you. So we're, we're we're overriding this thing. All right. We're overriding this thing with our new thing. And what our new thing will do is call our game draw and pass in the our, like our drawing tools in there so so what we're doing is we're using we're using this instead of the inbuilt paint from our form and we're basically taking over we're taking over it's a it's a hostile takeover all right how are we going with time good good with time all right so now this is our this is what we're going to use to draw stuff and and so so that that's a good thing, and we we still want to. Um, so what we're going to do now is we want to now draw. We want to um, paint, right? Paint our buffer display. We'll paint our buff on our buffer. We want to paint on our buffer display. All right, we're gonna paint on our buffer display and then we're going to call the graphics display to, to draw to draw our back buffer. So um, if you still don't understand what's going on, just type away, follow along, but we're pretty much um, setting up, finishing up, setting up that back buffer in our game loop. All right, so so there you go. So um, so this paint thing, this paint, we've ho we've hooked up to this thing. So we're going to do all our drawings there, and this is kind of where it's handling our, our double buffer. Our main graphics will be drawing the whatever's in the back buffer. This is the, the we need to put this as zero, so that it draws right at the top corner nicely and doesn't have a weird offset on it. All right, uh, that's good. That's good. Um, let's try that. 
be beautiful. Um, but now I'll transfer this code here, all of this code into this, just to see if it's working in here. Okay, so there you go, it's working in here. All right. Um, how do I know it's working? I'll turn this one off. And it, the, and it's gone, the, the, the sphere is gone. All right, so I, I wanna test an animation. So I'll just quickly do an animation test on this. So what I'll do is I'll go dmx equal to 100. Then I'll put x in here. And then I'll just go x equals x plus one. And let's see if this is animating. All right, beautiful. So it's moving side to side there. And you notice it's a bit of a flicker. So our double buffering is not working properly. Uh, I so just um, silly me. I'm, I'm not supposed to be accessing the graphics display via this place. I'm supposed to be accessing the draw tools from this, which gets passed from the paint, which then gets passed from our buffer display. So really, um, I'm basically grabbing. I'm grabbing. I'm not even using our back buffer, I'm just using this. And you can see that's the issue with a single buffer. So this is basically simulating a single buffer. Do you see the flicker there? Now, if I actually implemented the back buffer properly where I'm using G, which is pretty much the this back buffer display um, tools, uh, graphics tools, then uh, if you play here, it's a lot there there you go now we've got our back buffer this is double buffering basically so you don't have that flicker so you can see um i bypassed the uh the back buffer uh, the, the 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 back buffer there and i basically had a single buffer all right no worries um thank you for listening and i'll see you in the next video